Illegal moves. Unlike other martial arts such as Muay Thai and Taekwondo, you're not allowed to attack to the head or neck whatsoever. Any attack to the head or neck will automatically deduct one point from your score. However, you must not duck your head down, and if your head is hit due to you ducking your head down, no points will be deducted from your opponent. Also, unlike Judo and BJJ, you're not allowed to grab the opponent's uniform. If you perform a takedown by grabbing the opponent's uniform, the takedown will be considered invalid and you will be given a warning. Also, you're not allowed to catch a kick and punch at the same time while holding the kick. If you catch a kick, you must either take the, person, take the kick down or release. Once you catch a kick, you have five seconds to take your opponent down for it to be valid. If you take your opponent down and he or she lands out of bounds, the takedown will be declared invalid. Yes, for light violations such as stepping out of the ring or grabbing the opponent's uniform, you will first be given a warning. Second time, the wasit or referee will raise his hand or her hand and deduct one point from your score.
However, for major violations such as contact to the head or neck, a point will be immediately deducted from your score. If a competitor commits a light violation, they are first given a warning, like this. A light violation includes going out of the ring, not using sika pasang and pola lanka, or silat stances and footwork, a strike aimed at the head without actual contact, grabbing the opponent's uniform, not engaging your opponent, uh, or not making any contact when attempting a ground sweep or scissors takedown in order to waste time. If the competitor commits the same light violation again in the same round, the wasit hand goes up and a point will be deducted from their score. If they do it again, two points are deducted. If they commit the same violation again, the wasit or referee will hold the competitor's hand and raise one finger, which means a deduction of five points. If the same violation is committed again, the ref will hold the competitor's hand and put two fingers up, which means a deduction of 10 points. At the sixth violation, the competitor will be disqualified. Live violations do not carry over to the next round, meaning that if you get a warning in round one and then you commit the same violation in round two, you will just be given another warning.